Garden. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Chosen Rose. If you are new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below if you have ever been to Mexico. Where have you stayed? What restaurants have you been to? What fun things have you done? I'm just really curious and I wanna know about everyone's experiences going to Mexico. You guys, this is a voiceover because I'm already back from this trip to Cancun, but it was amazing, okay? It was amazing and you're gonna see exactly why I am saying that. And we had also stayed at two resorts. The first resort we stayed at just for one night and you're gonna find out exactly why that was. But we also stayed at a second resort that was a complete 180 degree difference. You're gonna see how amazing this second resort was that we stayed at. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. So right now we're hanging around the United Airlines lounge because y'all, our flight was supposed to leave the airport around 10 a.m. And we were supposed to get to Cancun around 1 to 2 p.m. But our flight got delayed three times. It got delayed about three times. So we ended up being delayed for a total of seven hours and 30 minutes. It was horrible. I hated that part. However, because we were flying United, we were able to stop by their United Airlines lounge in which we had a comfortable seven hours and 30 minute wait. It was worth it. The food there is really, really good. It's good quality food. They also have a bar where you can get any drink you want. So it's a nice pregame before getting on the flight. So if you are flying United, I highly recommend you check out their United Airlines lounge because it is awesome. Yes, about time. We are finally on board. Let's go.
Now, as pretty as this nighttime view is, y'all, I was sad because we were supposed to get to Cancun in the daylight. In the daylight. And look at how late we get there. We lost out on a whole day. I was so sad. But you know what? The second resort made it worth it. So this is the first resort that we stayed at. It's called GR Salar's Cancun Resort and Spa. And you guys, the top best comment I can give this resort is that the employees here are super friendly. They're really nice. They're very, very respectful. So I definitely love the employees here. However, we are going to get into clips of this resort. I'm going to first show some nice clips of them and then I'm going to get into why we left immediately the next day. Let's get into this.
I hope you guys enjoyed these nice clips of this resort because now it is time to get into why we left immediately the next day. So as you keep watching this clip, you're going to see a deli in the background that we were planning to go to. However, when we opened the door, it was a complete ghost town. That deli right there, it was a complete ghost town. It was dark, empty, no one was in there. No warning whatsoever was given to us. That was completely inconvenient and not cool. Now this is the most decent picture of the food we had there for breakfast. This was not so bad, but I'm gonna get more into the food later. Now I'm a germaphobe, so I spotted all the dirt. You guys, the floor in our room was dirty. The floor was dirty and I should have lifted that towel so that you can see the floor underneath it, but I threw that towel down there so I'd have something to step on. I was not appreciative of the fact that they did not properly clean the floor before we got in there. Now I wasn't expecting the sink situation either. So after using the sink for about one to two minutes, it started to rise. It was clogged. Are you kidding me? Now I didn't show you this in the beginning, but the floor on the balcony was actually dirty too. It was filled with bird poop. Now who wants to go from a seven hour, 30 minute delayed flight, wanted to go on a nice relaxing vacation, only to arrive at the resort and the floor is dirty and the balcony is filled with bird poop. No, 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 no. Mm-mm, we was not having this. And you guys, it doesn't even end here. Keep watching. Y'all, now this was the one thing I was most excited about for the room was the jacuzzi on the balcony. But as you can see, the jacuzzi is dirty, okay? It's dirty, they did not clean it. Now, if you think I'm being dramatic, keep on watching this video. Boy, what is that on the alarm clock? Oh my gosh, I can't make this up, y'all. Now, for the grand finale is the food. So, after seven hours and 30 minutes of a delayed flight coming to the resort, ready to relax, we ordered this room service food. Wait for it. They don't look too, too bad, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You still waiting for it, right? Mm-hmm. Bumba clots. I know you lying. I know they did not just give me an easy bake oven pizza. I know they did not just give me an easy bake oven pizza. Look at this. This thin pizza, no sauce. And I lied, that was not the grand finale. The grand finale was us leaving and realizing that the vent was leaking the entire time. Mm, 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 mm. So we went to the front desk, we were very polite about it. They were very polite about it as well. We didn't even immediately complain. We just said we were leaving that night. They asked us why on a sheet of paper. We explained, they issued the refund. Really nice. Whew, now that we got out of there, thank you, Jesus. This is the second resort that we stayed at called Secrets Divine Cancun. And y'all, this resort turned our whole vacation around for the better. It completely made up for our horrible first day. Instantly upon entering this resort, look at this. Somebody can look at this. Mm. They greeted us with champagne. Oh my goodness, they greeted us with champagne. We just knew our vacation was about to be a whole lot better now. Now I love me some bingo. They were playing bingo in the lobby and they even invited us to play before it started, but we were kind of in a rush to get to our room and relax for a bit after that first day, okay? But this was pretty cool that they were playing bingo in the lobby.
Are y'all seeing this dramatic difference so far in this resort compared to the first one? What? Y'all, and it gets better. Keep watching. We are about to enter our room and oh my goodness, you have to see this. Complete 180 from the last resort. Oh my goodness. Do you see how big and spacious and clean this room is? And this is the master suite at Secrets Divine Cancun. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh, just keep watching. Somebody come look at this. Oh my goodness. This place is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. have a panoramic balcony oh my goodness and you're gonna see way more of it in this video
they also have different light options. So you can dim the lights, you can have all the lights in the room really, really bright. You can completely tailor the lights how you like it. Now, I just love the extraness put into making this tissue feel like it is some special kind of tissue. Yes. Y'all, I forgot to record that there's a divider between the living room space and the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. The master suite comes with two bathrooms. So there's the guest bathroom that you just saw. And over here is the master bedroom's bathroom. Now, I was not expecting this and I didn't even know what that remote was gonna do. I just thought it looked like a car key or something. So I was like, let me just press the button and see what in the world was gonna happen in this room. And then this happened. Boy, I had to do it all over again and record this video so I could show you guys because this is epic. That is so cool. Now, what you guys are seeing here is not Secrets Divine Cancun. This is actually a different hotel called Sandals Cancun. However, the view of their hotel plus the view of our hotel on this panoramic balcony makes this view amazing.
now they definitely stocked us up on their shampoo conditioner and body wash there was three each of these throughout the master suite and they are eucalyptus scented they smell so good you guys Now the room didn't come with this. I just had to bring my favorite chocolate. This is my all time favorite chocolate, you guys. I stopped at that store that you saw early in this video where we got the alcohol. That's where I got that from. But um, moving along, <laughs> this is a map of the entire resort that they gave us at the front desk. It shows you where everything is, what they have, the dress codes of everything. So this was really convenient. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is their room service food and it was so good. 
This is a complete 180 from the last resort that we stayed at. Do you guys see this? Oh, I just wanna go back. I wanna go back. Now, boy, I almost thought that was the same pizza, but it is not. It is way better than the last resort's pizza. It has sauce on it, you guys, and it was a little thicker. So I was like, thank you. Thank you. And their burger is good, everything. Oh, you guys, if you go to Cancun, stay at Secrets, okay? Stay at Secrets the Vine Cancun. I just had to do my little happy food dance. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, mm. this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, mm. you guys, I have to be there. Now this is where some of their restaurants are located, which is on the 12th floor. We ate here, which you're gonna see in a little bit, but on the 12th floor is also their spa, which you'll also see in a little bit.
the next day. I am loving it here. And you guys, I can't get enough of this food. Yes, we had to do room service again. That food is so good. And do not judge me because I love me my bacon right here. So you're going to see a lot of bacon in this video. Okay. But their food is just way too good. And I definitely recommend that you order their pancakes right here. They don't even taste like any ordinary pancakes you would have. It tastes more like dessertish, cakeish, if you know what I mean. I know pancakes are basically flat cakes, but they just taste a bit different. You gotta try their pancakes. just so nice of a day it was so nice outside and the breakfast is amazing so we just decided to eat on the balcony
Now this was really nice of the resort. So apparently it's somebody's birthday, so they decorated it and I'm pretty sure the inside probably looks amazing too. I don't know what surprise they might have, but if it's your birthday, definitely let them know. And while we were out, room service had came in and cleaned and tidied up everything in our room. So this is what it looked like walking back in. It was just really relaxing. the first time ever that I've witnessed the preparation of an engagement yes and I did get a closer clip of this because we did go downstairs I hope the couple is happy I hope she said yes you guys this is so nice I still can't believe I saw this for the first time So we ordered drinks by the pool and it's coated with Tajin spice at the top. And you guys, I got a mango margarita. So it was a nice, sweet and spicy drink.
now it's time to hit the spa. Yes, it is on the 12th floor, located on the same floor that you saw the restaurants at earlier. So instead of turning to your right to go to the restaurants, you will turn to your left to go to the spa. You will see clips of what the spa looks like. I paid $169 for the tension massage and they surprised me saying that it also comes with hydrotherapy. So I believe possibly any massage you get, it comes with free hydrotherapy. So it was really, really nice. Well worth the money. So after your spa, they will guide you here for your hydrotherapy. This is the entrance to the hydrotherapy and there are five steps. So the first step is the sauna. The second step is to rinse yourself off. The third step is the steam room and you guys, it gets really hot and steamy in there. So definitely be prepared for that. The third step is to dip yourself in their cold freezing pool for five seconds. And the last step is to dip yourself in their warm hot tub for about 10 minutes. After your hydrotherapy session, you can either decide to go back to the entrance and relax on one of their chairs, or you can decide to end your spa session there. But I highly recommend that you do take advantage of the hydrotherapy. It is very relaxing. And right here is the cold freezing pool that you have to dip yourself in for five seconds. And this pool right here is the one that you have to stay in for about 10 minutes that's warm hot. This is very relaxing. The only thing I wish they did was that I wish they allowed you to do this by yourself. Um, if you do come by yourself or if it's you and one other person, be prepared to do this with other people. However, if you come in a group, then you're good because it'll just be you and your group if it's like four people. But if it's you and one other person or if it's just you by yourself, you are going to do this with other people.
Now the resort also had wine tasting, so it was really nice for us to participate in this. It's probably around like 10 to 15 minutes, but it's really nice. I definitely recommend that you do do their wine tasting. Right across the street from Secrets Divine Cancun is a store where you can grab a couple of things that you might need. Three blocks down on the right, there's a supermarket, but we didn't need to go there. I just wanted to say that in this video in case it might help someone, but it was super convenient that there was a store right across the street from the hotel. Y'all, I don't know who loved the food at this restaurant more, us or them birds. I could tell you that them birds was tearing that food up. Now, I thought the room service breathfix was great. Wait until you see their breathfix at their market cafe downstairs. Oh my goodness, I was in heaven.
is what I'm talking about, y'all. They had everything in that breath fix. Oh my goodness. I loved it and it tasted so good. Oh, I would definitely go back just for their Market Cafe food. What a complete 180 degree difference from the first resort to the second. Yes, did you guys enjoy that as much as we enjoyed being there? Yes. You guys, we are so happy that we didn't stay at the first resort for the rest of those nights. We're really happy that we switched over to Secrets Divine Cancun because it made our entire Cancun vacation worth it. We loved it there and we'll definitely be returning. Thank you so much Secrets Divine Cancun. Thank you to the employees at GR Solars Cancun as well. They were super polite and respectful when we um, chose to leave the resort. And you guys, yes, we will definitely be returning to Cancun. So comment down below if you've ever been to Mexico. Where have you stayed? What have you done? What activities have you done? I definitely want to hear your experiences. And we will definitely be returning to Cancun in the future. Yes, we loved it there. So if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button, like this video, enjoy the rest of the conclusion of this vlog, and I will see you all in my next video. Later, garden!